Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pello, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out on this Thursday of the second week of Lent with a reading by Henry Nowen, Positive Powerlessness. God became a little baby. Who can be afraid of a little baby? That's the mystery of the Incarnation. God became human in no way different from other human beings to break through the walls of power in total weakness. That's the story of Jesus. And how did that story end? It ended on a cross where the same human person hangs naked with nails through his hands and feet. The powerlessness of the manger has become the powerlessness of the cross. He hangs there, his flesh torn apart by lead-filled whips, his heart broken by the rejection of his friends and abuse from his enemies, his mind tortured by anguish, his spirit shrouded in the darkness of abandonment. <clears throat> total weakness, total powerlessness. That's how God chose to reveal to us the divine love. And now for a scripture reading, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 27 through 31. Strength of the lowly. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel, My way is hidden from the Lord, and my right hand is disregarded by my God? Have you not known, have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And now for our time together in prayer today. Let us now pray together. O oh, Sustainer God, though we very much wish to be in control, let us recognize the strength of Christ's manger in his cross. Transplant in us your humble heart and your heroic surrender so that we may cast out pride and share in the cup of your tears. Amen. Now for Lenten action this morning, promise yourself that you will maintain a dignified silence, just as Jesus did at his trial. At a point where you are eager to contribute your two cents worth, or when you feel a strong need to defend yourself from criticism. And that's our Lenten action this morning. I hope you all have a great day today on this Thursday. I hope to see you here tomorrow morning as well.